Veronica, U.S. Secretary of State Anthony Blinken has been holding meetings with African leaders on the sidelines of the UNGA. What more can you share with us? Yes, hi Esther. Well, he actually met with uh, the Kenyan president this morning and according to one spokesperson, uh, he reiterated the importance of the partnership between <clears throat> Kenya and the United States, this long-standing partnership that um, is also showing leadership on the side of Kenya in terms of uh, providing opportunities for global peace and stability. As well, Blinken was um, grateful for the Kenyan president uh, consideration of leading a multinational supporting a security mission to Haiti. Uh, we must remember that the Kenyan president uh, would lead this uh, proposal by the U.S. Uh, in uh, the context of the U.N. Security Council to help combat the gang's warfare. So this uh, proposal will be put to a vote uh, or is expected to be put to a vote in the coming days, Esther. We've sampled a few presidents from Africa who spoke earlier today. Uh, we've had them speak. But uh, what has been the highlight so far of the other presidents from the continent that, that have spoken at the UN General Assembly? Well, I, I can tell you, uh, Burundi focused his speech on uh, migration flows. He was emphasizing, the president was emphasizing the need to understand that although it is true that uh, migration flows could threaten peace and security, it's important that the developed nations understand that there are root causes like poverty and be uh, kind to people that are just trying to have better lives. They have to travel. Uh, they have to put their own safety at risk to have uh, decent work. So he said it is important that uh, developed nations and, and uh, people who are struggling are able to build collaboration, build partnerships so that decent work is offered to those people. And meanwhile, it's important to respect the human rights of those people that are migrating and make sure that they are protected, Esther. Uh, on the other hand, we have the Central African Republic. They also spoke about the need to reform the UN Security Council and to give or grant a permanent seat to Africa. He was mentioning that there were unjust treatments of Africa and it is important that leaders unite uh, that during, for instance, two very important events. One of them is the 80th anniversary of the United Nations in 2025 and the summit of the future in 2024. Those will provide opportunities uh, for the nations to actually uh, try to uh, come up with solutions to reform the Security Council, Esther.